Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. In today's video, I wanted to come on and do, I guess, a review slash what's in my bag that I am currently carrying. Y'all, this is the Michael Kors Medium Duffel Bag in the brown signature uh, print with the, I believe this is the acorn color on the top, either acorn or luggage. But yeah, this is what I am carrying right now, y'all. And I decided to come on and do this video because I picked this bag up two years ago come September, right? So I've had her for a while. I've carried her a few times and I absolutely love this bag, y'all. So this bag just holds it all. That is one of the main reasons why I love it is because it holds it all. And let's face it, y'all, Michael Kors does not disappoint. Like, when I tell you he makes some really good bags that stand the test of time, he does a good job. Now this here, y'all, is an outlet piece, but let me tell you, just from looking around at this bag, I don't really have any, like, wear on this bag whatsoever. Like, nowhere at all. I'm actually even looking at, like, the corners and all, y'all, and the bag still looks really good. So I want to give you a close-up of her so that you can see her in all of her glory. The hardware still looks really, really good. And as you all can see here, there is no kind of, no kind of wear on the corners. And I mind you, this bag actually does not even have feet. Doesn't even have feet and it doesn't have any corner wear. So yes, so, so good. I know like for me, that's the first thing that... I see wear it on my bags is my corners because I don't know what it is, y'all, but I'm just rough on corners. So when I actually um, pulled this bag out recently to carry her, I was really surprised to see that I don't have any corner wear on her, which is actually really good though, really, really good. This bag um, does come with a strap here that you can hook on either side. And I actually have the strap right here. It's very nice too, very comfortable. It's like a web strap. But I I don't use the strap as often. So I know this go around when I carried the bag. I didn't use the strap at all. I pretty much carried it either as a top handle bag or I would put this bag in the crook of my arm. And with all of the items that I have in here, it is, it is weighty, but it's bearable for me. Like I can carry this bag like this on a shopping trip and I'm good. Um, as you can see, I did adorn her with my little coach um Tom Wesselman charm here that I absolutely love. And then on the other side, the bag does come with this little emblem charm here. So I did leave that on. And then close up, as you all can see, it does have the Michael Kors gold lettering there. So this bag actually came out of the travel section at the outlet, but I am actually, of course, using it as a handbag. So let's go ahead and get on into here because I want to show you all how I have this bag packed. Oh, and before I open it up, too, I do want to point this out here. This bag only comes with one zipper pull, too, y'all. So it only comes with one zipper pull, which is okay. I would have loved for it to have two. That way I have, like, options to zip back and forth, but it's not really that deep for me. So just the one zipper pull is okay. And y'all hear that zipper? It's smooth. <laughs> So this is how everything is looking at a glance. Yes, I know it's a little junky in there, but I have been enjoying this bag. So I'll take the things off top and then I'll show you all how everything else is in the bag. So the first thing that I had in here is a receipt. And then the next thing that I had in here on top is a pack of crackers. So we did actually take a road trip back home to South Carolina and when my husband drive, y'all, I have to have, like, my motion sickness pills. I have to have my saltine crackers because his driving makes me nauseous. <laughs> but this is how everything is looking now. So as you all can see, everything has its own spot. I just pretty much had that receipt and my crackers thrown on top. And I was able to fit so much stuff in here. So the very first thing that I have in here next, or the next thing that I have in here, is my coin purse. This here, y'all, is my Dooney and Burt coin purse in the color red. And it is the pebble grain leather. 
I love this thing so much. So my theme, y'all, was pretty much red and then the brown signature from Michael Kors. So I'll, of course, show you later on how all of the accessories came together. But I pretty much just used this coin purse to hold my keys. So I had my keys in there and they fit in there nicely. And then the next thing that I had in the back is my fan. I cannot go anywhere without this thing in the warmer months, especially right now because it's so, so hot here where I am. So yeah, I had my fan and it also has a flashlight on it as well. And this little thing y'all say is charged up for a very long time. Like I've used this thing so much. If I had to calculate I would say that it probably has about a five hour charge on it maybe um, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit so I'll actually leave on the screen um, what Amazon recommends the time for it to last yeah I'll throw it up there, there for y'all but it's good uh, that's all I gotta say it is really really good um, the next thing I had in the back is my Mario Badesco facial spray I really haven't had to use this much, but when it gets really, really hot, y'all, I will spray that on my face. And then I also like use the fan over it as well, just to kind of cool myself down. It's really good. Um, now the next thing I have in the bag, y'all, it's kind of out of thing, but let me explain. So I picked this up on last year and I hadn't used it. So I decided to throw it in my bag because I really want to get this used up before Halloween comes around again and I need to buy more. <laughs> But this is the Bath and Body Works Antibacterial Hand Spray in the Vampire Blood. <laughs> so I know it is not Halloween or October or any of that. But yeah, again, trying to get it used up. And then I have to have to have my tissue with me, especially when we're on road trips. I actually need to get more um, toilet paper now because as you all can see, like, look at that. There's not much left in there. <laughs> But it has definitely been coming in handy for me. Um, I do have my Tide to Go pen in here. And then my hand or body cream, I guess, Tribicide body cream. This is in the scent Tropidelic. Very, very pretty scent. And let's see what else is loose in here. I have my Lysol. I need to actually get more of this too because I've been using this up so much. Um, I've really been trying to be a little bit more better about Lysol and everywhere we go because this past week, um, my little one, uh, he actually had a virus and I think he gave it to me too. <sighs> so much is going around. So I'm really just trying to make sure I keep us protected and make sure we're taking our vitamin C and all of that. Um, and then the next thing I had in here is my travel size deodorant. This is the Secret Outlast Sweat and Odor. Haven't had to use it yet, but I did oop, did recently throw that into my bag. And then y'all know I have a sweet tooth and I actually have candy left over to show y'all. <laughs> and so the first thing that I have in here are these nerves, the gummy clusters. I love them. So I have those in there. And then these I recently picked up. I haven't opened them yet, but they are Mike and Ike's. Love me some Mike and Ike's. And then that's pretty much the only loose things, the only loose things that I had in the bag. So I had all of that on one side of the bag. And as you all can see, like, yeah, a lot of space, a lot of space. So now I'm going to go ahead and get on into the pouches. Um, the first pouch that I ended up using was this one here. This is my Nolita 15 from Coach in the 1941 red. And I'm pretty much using this, y'all, to hold, oh, more candy. <laughs> So I have my Trident gum. These y'all. I recently went to Pop Shelf and when I saw these, I just had to get my hands on them because I grew up on these candies y'all. And so here they are y'all. Do y'all remember these? Did y'all have these crybaby tears? Oh, let's see if it's gonna, there we go. Yeah, I just had to get these, y'all, extra sour candy. And I did actually let my kids try them, and they don't like them. So, yeah, I've just been munching on those. And then I did also put some crystal lights in the bag. I have some airheads. 
And then I just have like um, some drops, like vitamin C drops, cough drops, sore throat drops, all of that is in there. So this pretty much acted as like my little candy pouch. And then the next thing that I had in the bag, y'all, is this wristlet here. I got this wristlet from Michael Kors. I want to say I may have gotten it around the same time I picked up this bag, but I love it. It's so good. It holds a good bit as well. It's probably equivalent to the size of the large slim wristlet from Dooney and Burke. But this is pretty much just housing like my makeup products. So I do have all of my staples in here. I have my Bobbi Brown Crush Infused Gloss. I have my Lacombe Idol Mascara. I don't know why I have this in there, but these are some dry eye reliefs. I have my Ilia Mascara, or what am I talking about? Ilia Eyeliner <laughs> in there. Benefit Brow, a Benefit Cosmetic Brow Shaper or a liner. And then I have my little shaper. I have my Biosense Lip Balm. And then I have my lippy, which I am currently not wearing this. I'm actually wearing Ruby Red, I think is the name of the MAC shade that I'm wearing right now. But this one here is called D for Danger. And it's like a burgundy shade. I was actually looking for this one early. I didn't realize I put it in my bag. But yeah, this is more of a burgundy shade. I like it. It's really, really pretty. And then I have my nail clipper. I have my Coach Dream Fragrance, my Juvia's Place um, lip liner, which y'all, I'm so sad because look, I am finally like out of this. Like I can't turn it up anymore. <laughs> I have a little, little bit left. So I need to, I need to get more because that, that was my favorite, but it was long lasting, I must say. Um, and then I have my little hair tie. Is that it? Oh, nope. I have tweezers and a nail file. So that's everything that I had in this little thing right here. Again, it held a lot. And it actually comes with three card slots, y'all. So you could literally use this as like a little catch and go pouch if you wanted to. Um, but it is a wristlet. Only clips on on one side. And it's so, so good. I love it. All right, so then the next thing that I had in the bag is this right here. I believe it is called the card case, I want to say. I think it's called the just like a card case. I don't have the tag in here. But it's nice. So um, it actually does come with an ID slot along with two card slots. It has a slip pocket and then a middle zip compartment. It did actually come with a little wristlet too, but I did take that off. And I'm pretty much using this, y'all, to hold like all of my coins. So that's what I have in there. Um, this thing is pretty awesome too, though, because it does actually come with a slip pocket there. And then there's even like a little key hook here. So if you wanted to hook your keys onto it, you could. But yeah, that is what I am using this for. And then for my wallet, I ended up using this one here. This is actually the Fulton wallet in the luggage print or luggage color, I mean. And let's see if they're the same. Yeah, I think it might be pretty much the same color. But yeah, this, I love this wallet, y'all. It is so, so good. Um, it does come with a slip pocket in the back. And then let me see if I can actually take out my card so that I can show you all the inside of this. Because it has a lot of organization, which I absolutely love. I didn't even use up all of the space just because it's just so much. Like, it is so, so much. All right, here we go. So, when you open it up, it is a snap closure. And I pretty much had my main cards here in the front. So, as soon as I opened up the wallet, I was able to get right to it. It does have those four card slots there. And then it actually has a slip pocket there. There's a gusset, which as you can see, I have my ink pen there. And then there's four more card slots here. There's a middle zip compartment. Another gusset. And then there is, is that six card slots? Oh, wow. Huh. Six card slots on the back side, y'all. 
So how many is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 card slots. That's pretty amazing. I did not realize I had that many card slots. And then there's also a slip pocket on the back side and I'm pretty much just housing cash there. But the organization is plenty in this little wallet, y'all, and I love it. Let me make sure I set the name right here, too. Yes, it is called the Fulton Wallet. I think I've had this wallet for about two years as well. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's a big mama. Like, it definitely does hold a good bit. And then, oh, there was one more loose thing roaming around here, y'all. So, this here has really been helping me a lot lately. This is actually the Josie Marin Argon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. I want to shout out Dooney Addict 615 because I first learned about this from her. And y'all, this thing is like Vaseline on steroids. I'm telling you. Like, it is just so, so good. I have been using this on Kyra's eczema and it really moisturizes her skin. I just really love it. It says here that it is even petroleum free too. So yeah, it's, it's really good. And I'll read the back off to you guys. It says it's infused with Josie's 100% pure argan oil. This therapeutic creamy blend of essential fatty acids and vitamin E can be used in an infinite number of ways. This targeted multitasker instantly soothes and smooths rough, chapped, or dry skin while eliminating the complexion and leaving skin aglow. And that it absolutely does. I think this retails for like $28. I did get it half off in one of Sephora's uh, beauty sales that they were running, but it is definitely worth it. Like I, if I had to pay the whole 28 to get this, I would definitely do it because it's just so, so good. And a little bit goes a long way too, y'all, which is what I love as well. And then the last thing that I had rolling around loosely in the bag is my pepper spray. So that's pretty much y'all everything that I had in the main compartment. And again, as y'all can see, this bag held it all. Like it really worked out great. Everything that I would typically carry in a tote size bag was able to fit in this bag. Now, this bag does come with two slip pockets and then it also has a zip pocket as well and I did utilize both of those spaces. So in the first slip pocket, I just placed like my uh, wipes that I would need. So I had like a few packs of wet ones. I also had a um, eye, like a cleaning uh, wipe. And what did I just drop? Okay, another clean, like an eyeglass wipe. So that's all I had in the first pocket. And then in the other pocket, I had my Kleenex. I had my backup earrings. And I put them in this little Pandora pouch. Okay. And then, is that everything? Yeah, that's everything that I had in that pocket there. Okay, so moving into the zip pocket... I pretty much use this to hold like my, you know what y'all, I'm looking as I'm talking to y'all and I just realized that I did not put my, I didn't put my mirror in here. Hmm. Interesting. I gotta find it because I, I'm pretty sure I took it out to put in the bag. So Kaya must have grabbed it when I was doing my switch. Ugh. He's always grabbing stuff y'all. <laughs> But anyways, um, okay, so I had a feminine product, um, toilet seat cover, another feminine product, and then I pretty much used this back space to hold like medicine and things too. So of course I did have the mask back there, and then I had my little pill container, and then I also had my little uh, nausea medicine. I have to have this with me, especially again when I am in the car. And I'm not driving. <laughs> also have some allergy medicine. And then I have more allergy medicine. Uh, motion sickness as well as more nausea medicine. And then this too is something that I'm trying to do better about putting on daily and just having with me. So this is actually sunscreen by CeraVe. It's a facial sunscreen, but you can also put it on your body too. And it has SPF of 50 in it, but it is lightweight, oil free, and also water resistant. So here it goes. And it's really small. Like as you all can see, I'm able to put it like in the palm of my hand. 
just to kind of give you an idea of the size. But yes, I really like this stuff. It's good. Nope, he's not in here. So I have that in there. And then the other thing that I have to carry around with me now is this anti-itch cream because the mosquitoes and the bugs are just so ruthless right now. <laughs> but that is that. And uh, one last thing, I have a floss pick. So that's pretty much everything that I had in the bag. Here is the tag in case you're interested. So as you can see, I got it out of the travel section. And again, this is the medium duffel in the color brown signature. And it's good. That's all I can say is it is good, y'all. Such a great, great bag. So I will actually go ahead and pop up on the screen the picture with the accessories so that you all can see how everything blended in together. And then also, too, I will go ahead and put up my shots so that you all can see how this bag looks on me as a top handle as well as um, how it looks in the crook of my arm. As you can see, it is a nice size bag against my frame and I am five foot even for reference. Again, I did not carry this bag with this strap, but I will also go ahead and insert a photo so that you all can see how this bag looks if I were to carry it as a long shoulder bag, as well as if I decided to carry it as a crossbody just to kind of give you an idea of that as well. And that is that, y'all. That pretty much just completes this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.